Hi guys and welcome to another video. So we do have a couple of bits of news today, including a player signing a new contract as well as a new incoming player coming and signing for the club. So Sunderland today have uh, announced that they've signed Aidan O'Brien. I will read and show you the uh, the Sunderland um, the Sunderland statement they give on it. They said Sunderland AFC are delighted to announce the signing of Aidan O'Brien. The 26 year old striker becomes Phil Parkinson's first new recruit ahead of the 2020 to 21 season. Moving to Westside on a two year deal after leaving Millwall in June, following a nine year stay in South East London. O'Brien scored 15 goals for the Lions as they earned promotion to the second tier in 2017, whilst also racking up over 100 appearances in the Skybet Championship during his time at the Den. The striker's form in the capital also led to international recognition, with the Republic of Ireland with O'Brien scoring one goal in his four appearances to date. Prior to breaking into Millwall's first team, the 26-year-old enjoyed loan spells with Staines Town, Hayes and Yedding United, Crawley Town, Aldershot Town and Torquay United. After sealing a move to the stage of Malai, O'Brien said, It feels terrific to be a Sunderland player. This is a massive club and I just can't wait to get going. I love scoring goals, it's what I live for and hopefully I can bring plenty to the team. I can't express how excited I am and I can't wait to show the fans and my teammates what I'm made of. Manager Phil Parkinson added, I'm really pleased with the signing of Aiden. He's at a good age. He has experience of winning this division and he's played plenty of championship football. Aiden can also play in a variety of attacking roles, which I feel is very important for us. We are delighted to welcome him to the club and we're looking forward to working with him. So that is the statement from Sunderland. Now, uh, my thoughts on it, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know loads about him because I don't, but um, I have spoke with a couple of Millwall fans who uh, obviously know him a lot better and have seen a lot more of him than I have. Um, and they've said, you know, he's not the quickest, which is... A little bit frustrating because it's something that uh, that I've, I've you know I've openly said constantly that we need pace. But um, they have said he's not the quickest, but he always seems to find himself in the right place at the right time. And he's also capable of coming up with a worldie every now and then, which is you know it, it's decent. It's a decent start. It, like it's just said in a statement, he's had experience at winning this league, which is great, and he's a championship quality player because he's, he's you know made over triple figures in terms of appearances in the championship. So he is of a championship sorry championship level. Uh, um, uh, you, you would say anyway with the amount of experience he's had up there so it's a move in the right direction it, it has come a bit left field because I didn't have a clue who he was until you know like 24 hours ago when the rumours started about him um, but uh, you know I think it is a move in the right direction it's good that it shows that we are going to be signing players regardless of the ownership being up in the air yeah it's a free transfer but it doesn't really matter right now because I've, as we've mentioned constantly in previous videos there's so many decent prospects in terms of free uh, free agents out there which is absolutely fantastic. We will have a look at his stats as well. So if you have a look at his stats, we'll start off particularly in the early days, because as you can see, he's only 26 years of age right now. So for the starting sort of four campaigns, or three campaigns, should I say, he uh, he didn't really, well, he didn't play at all um, for uh, for Millwall, other than uh, the League Cup. He made one appearance there, as you can see. Um, really early on in his career, would have been very young at that point. He did go on, uh, on loan, as I did mention in the statement, several times. Uh, for Staines Town, he made two appearances uh, with no goals. Uh, seven appearances for Hates and Yedding United. Seven appearances with no goals. Uh, Crawley Town. <laughs> he had nine appearances and no goals. It's not looking great so far, is it really? Old Shot Town. Five appearances and three goals, which is a decent little return there. He made uh, four appearances in other competitions, it says in here, with four goals. So that was a really successful uh, little loan spell there with nine appearances and seven in, uh, goals in total. And for Torquay United, he made uh, three appearances with no goals. But he did go back to Millwall where he got 19 appearances in the 2014-15 season, 19 appearances, he got himself, uh, or 20 in total, but two goals. He then played a lot more the following season, uh, playing 43 times in League One, getting himself 10 goals, but 13 in all competition, making 53 appearances altogether that season, so it shows how much they valued him there. And the next season in League One where they did go up, he scored 13 goals or 15 in total, he made 57 appearances in totals as well, including all competitions. So again, it shows that he can do it in this league, which I'm really, really excited for. Then across the championship, he scored six goals in the 17-18 season. He scored four goals in the 18-19 season and another four goals in the, the season just gone. But he, he, he's made plenty of appearances, so it's not like he's, he's you know just straight from the fringes of Millwall. He's made many, many appearances there. So um, it shows that he did value him. Um, but of course, it, it's just not fitting into their 
uh, that plans this season. So for me, I'm, I'm quite happy with that that signing. Um, he's not just an out and out striker, so I need to give that to him. He can play on the left hand side. I've been told by Millwall fans he has been put out on the left quite a lot, particularly over the last couple of seasons. So um, you know, it, I, I'm happy with that. Um, and like it says earlier, it, he's at a very good age, only 26 years of age. So it's not like we've just bought you know a really old player who's at the back end of his career. He should be coming into his prime right now. And like we said, he's done it in this league. He's had international recognition, so it's an exciting start. So it, it's a start and it's a decent one at that. But now we do have a little bit more news and we do have um, a new contract signing and that is youngster Brandon Taylor. Now, he is a defender. He's been with the club for a very, very long time, since he was nine years of age, in fact. He has become a, a massive regular in the uh, in the U team, in the under-18s, in the under-23s. He did make his first team appearance, actually, um, in the 18-19 season. His first uh, appearance there, anyway, his debut, and that was against uh, Morecambe. Um, in the EFL Trophy, which we did win that game, of course. And, um, you know, it's a one-year deal. Uh, I haven't seen a massive amount of him, so I can't sit here and say he's this, that and the other. But when I have seen him, it seemed OK. Will he, you know, get into the first team this season? We, we, we never know. I don't think he's probably at the same level as some of the defenders we've already got at the club. But it's definitely good to add that bit of competition. And we want to try and keep hold of our best youth, which we've just screamed out for. Of course, with the recent exit of... Bali Mumba, but that is pretty much all the news today, guys. We've signed a new player, which I'm happy with. Again, it is a bit of a unknown entity because I haven't seen a massive amount of him. But Millwall fans seem to be really positive about him. They say they're going to miss him greatly, and and they really do rate him highly there. So I'm hoping he can do a job for us in League One. And of course, Taylor has signed a new one-year contract extension, so it's good that we are at least keeping hold of one youngster for at least another 12 months, anyway. And I'm pretty sure. There was some more news today. There was some pretty big news elsewhere. I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm sure there was something. No. I must have slipped my mind. Anyway, so if you have enjoyed this video, obviously let me know down below. It'd be massively uh, interesting to see what you guys think about the signings down below in the comments. But if you have enjoyed, of course, hit the like button for me. It'd be massively appreciated. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay. Jump! Yeah.